Hey, this is Johnny with Johnny's BMW DIY. Today we're going to show you how to fix your driver's seat on an E36 model and uh, it applies to E46 models as well when it won't recline or uh, come forward for you anymore. You hear the motor spinning but it's not going anywhere. It's because this little gear is broken. First thing you do, move the seat all the way backwards, pull out the one Bolts. Next we slide the seat all the way forward and now you can get in through the back and get to these back Okay, now that I've removed all the bolts on the seat, next move is very important. You've got to unfasten the negative cable from the battery before you pull the seat out of the car because your airbag light will trip on and then you have to take it to somebody to have them reset it. So make sure you disconnect the negative lead to the battery. In your trunk on the right hand side is your battery. I've already loosened this one. Take the negative lead off and set it aside. Okay next you'll collect all your change that you found um, and in those three plugs sitting right there on the ground you will disconnect them from the seat before you pull it out. I just kind of have tipped the seat back into the back seat. I was able to get enough clearance to get it out the front door. Now, last thing you have to do is there's the seat belt right there. We're going to have to loosen that now that we can get to that bolt. It is a good sized star bolt. Once you have uh, removed your seat, Get it on a, I've got it on a moving blanket. The place you're going to be working on is inside this little transmission. And there's a little gear on the inside that just broke. And we're going to take this apart and get in there and put this new gear inside. Okay, to get this last bolt out, I've turned the seat on this side with the controls facing up. And right down in here, right there in front of my flashlight, I've already loosened mine a little bit by hand. Uh, wasn't too tight. Um, what I'm doing to get in there, because it is a really hard spot to get into, is this is a flexible shaft. My uh, clip broke so I had to tape my bit in there so it won't fall out. But basically uh, you can get these flexible shafts, uh, get, it, get it in the hole and then bend it a little bit so that it really bites and you'll be able to use your screw gun or sometimes your hand if they're not too tight to get it out the rest of the way. Okay, now that I've removed that bolt, I have the motors free and I can take them away from the transmission. Next we have to remove a bunch of these uh, star head bolts to take the cover off the transmission. It's best to leave the seat on its side and don't let it move because when you pull the gear out and put the new one in you want it all to stay to be in, to stay in the same orientation you may even uh, want to put a little mark on it somewhere so that you're able to uh, if it does move you can put it back before you put the gear in again I'm using my flexible shaft to get in there and just unwind all these bolts get them all undone and pick my piece back up and uh, I'll show you how to take the lid off okay I'm just gonna put a little mark here so that 
I know the orientation. What you want to do, I've already loosened it up, but start about here. And just take a screwdriver and gradually pry it up until you get the top loose. And you're able to remove it. culprit is right here. Without the seat moving, the goal is to remove this helical gear and the broken piece. There you can see gear is broken and that's why the seat was stuck. Make sure you get the old piece of broken gear out of here and inspect the whole thing for shrapnel okay after you get your gear off I just broke it off uh, without pulling this clip off trying to get enough light on this little there's a little C clip on the tip of there that's kind of hard to see um, I'm just gonna use a pair of pliers and pull that off right okay, now on these gears when you buy them you can get them on eBay or there's a company uh, I'm not endorsing anybody, but search for E36 seat gears. Uh, it's real apparent one side hole is bigger, so it's kind of tapered, uh, just like the shaft that it's pressed onto. Uh, so you take the large side and go ahead and put it on there. It takes a little bit of force, so I'm going to put it down on the floor and push it in there. Okay, so I got it on the floor, got it started put it flat on the floor and tapped it lightly with the hammer. Now I've got it on, you're like, hey, uh, how do I put this clip back on? Well, the piece that goes on the other end, you can take that off, put it underneath it, and tap on it till it goes on a little bit further. Just tap on it on the floor like so with your hammer. It'll go on a little bit further and give you enough clearance to get that C clip back on there. I've got the C-clip just started. Make sure you don't pound it down too far. Just enough that it sticks up because you don't want to break the gear before you can get it back in. Uh, just got it started. I'm going to grab it with a pair of pliers and make sure that you're in an area where if this thing goes flying you can find it because if you don't have a backup then you're going to be hurting. Okay, I've got the clip back on there. Now any grease that was on the helical gear when I pulled it out, I just kind of wiped back in here because you need some and it's just some thick grease. It's lasted for 13 years in there. It still looks good. Anyway, um, go ahead and get that and the piece from earlier that goes on the other end. And you want to stick it back in place. Just kind of snap it back in there. Now we can begin our reassembly. Two long ones. All the little ones that are the different size. Go back around the outside. Okay, now uh, with that bolt still stuck in there, make it a little bit easier, maybe, maybe, to uh, reassemble. That bolt will probably be the hardest part of this whole thing. Um, get it in the right place. It's a little wiggling, but once it seats, you'll know. And just get all four of these bolts tight. Okay, I've got all the bolts back in. And if you have this cover, mine's broken. There's a little motor cover that goes on it. Um, now's a good time. Go ahead and put that black cover back on and the bolt now is also right there. a really good time to change your gloves 
uh, or wash your hands real good get all the grease you've got off of your hands so that you won't get your leather all dirty and greasy and basically reinstall your seat okay basically now you've got your seat repaired all you have to do is set your seat into place make sure everything's plugged in and go back and go ahead and reconnect your battery cable so you can move your seat forward and backward to get clearance to tighten up your bolts and you're good to go okay this is Johnny with Johnny's BMW DIYs we're all done with this one hope I saved you some money and made your car that much cooler see you next time